What comes to mind when you hear the word Canada? Is it maple syrup, hockey, multiculturalism, or perhaps universal health care? Now let's break that word down. Health, a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being as defined by the WHO. In Canada, we pride ourselves in having accessible, affordable, and comprehensive health care for all. However, on June 30th, 2012, health care coverage and provision for refugees coming to Canada drastically changed through Bill C-31. The minister, Jason Kenney, is now able to make a list of countries he deems as safe. Within this bill, the Interim Federal Health Program essentially eliminated all preventative health care and medications for refugee claimants from designated countries of origin, or the safe countries. This means no help for pregnant mothers, cancer screening, and no chronic disease management. Emergency dental and vision benefits were also taken away from most refugees. Refugees arriving to Canada from unsafe countries are at risk of depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, abuse, diabetes, malnourishment, and infectious diseases, as well as many other health problems. But instead of going to a doctor when sick, they wait until the symptoms are unbearable before making a trip to the emergency room. By then, they will need a longer stay in hospital and might have developed longer-term complications. So what are the reasons Canada is making these changes? To cut costs? But well, we already showed that won't work. Bill C-31 will increase ER visits and prolong hospital stays. Perhaps safety to the public, but many infectious diseases don't show any signs. They need a doctor's service to be diagnosed. My name is Sarah, and I came into Canada in 2001 with my family as refugees. I was really surprised when I saw the details of Bill C-31 because to me it seems very discriminatory. I know when we came our health care coverage is very beneficial because uh, we all wear glasses in my family and my dad as a truck driver he needed to keep up with those prescriptions. And also uh, we were able to use the walk-in clinic if anybody had a cold or cuts or anything like that. So it doesn't seem fair to me that a part of the population won't have access to the same health care that I did. So what can you do as Canadians to change this? Advocate. Educate yourself and your peers. Write letters to your local government representative. Because as Canadians, we care. Thank you.